Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session of Basic Thermodynamics, Module 2 of Lecture 2, I am going to discuss a proof of energy, a property of a system. Here, in the first law of thermodynamics, where we have taken the summation of the heat transfer is equal to summation of the work transfer, where for the cyclic process, we are going to involve that is a process, each process there is a change in internal energy term is involved. In the first law of the thermodynamics, there is a term internal energy is comes into a discussion and that internal energy whatever is there, it is neither in the form of work nor in the form of heat that will be stored in the system that all the energy will not be converted one form into the another form the some form will be remains in the system and that whatever the energy is there we are going to call it as a internal energy and that is taken as the delta E and it is also called as a energy only and that whatever the energy is there that we have to prove it is a property of a system and to prove that one we are going to consider here that is a, a different processes changing the state from one state to the another state that is here consider a system undergoing a cycle the system which is undergoing a cycle which is represented on a state diagram of a PV diagram we have shown changing from state 1 to state 2 by process or a path A okay, here from state 1 to state 2 the whatever the process is going on or changing a state through a path A or a, it can be called as a process A and returning okay, back from 2 to 1 to state 2 to the state 1 either through a path B or through a path C through any okay we can initially we will consider the process is returning through a path B and later it will be considered as a returning through a path C and this together 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 together constitute a cycle that it involves a two process and later the second stage if the system is returning from to a state 2 to state 1 through path C then the 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 that is a, a and C together constitute a cycle and for this each whatever this process are there we have to apply the first law of the thermodynamics and by using that we have to prove it energy as a property of a system then here we have the first law of the thermodynamics as Q is equal to delta E plus W the heat transfer is equal to internal energy plus work transfer applying this first law of the thermodynamics to each process okay each process a b and c we have to apply this first law of the thermodynamics here first applying first law for path a we can write q a is equal to delta a plus w a okay here for the path a what we can write q a is equal to delta a e a plus w a this is for the path A we have applied and for path B the return process whatever is there 2 to 1 and for that if you apply the first law of thermodynamics we can write QB is equal to delta EB plus of WB then here this the processes A and B together constitute a cycle that means this 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 together constitute a cycle and for which we can write the summation of work transfer is equal to summation of heat transfer for a cyclic process and this we can write as the both the processes heat transfer work transfer that is a wa plus of wb and qa plus of qp and this equation whatever is there we can rearrange and write like this that is qa minus of wa will take and that 
will take right hand side. The QA minus WA will take and that will take right hand side. And here the QB whatever there is there, that is WB minus of QB, the QB we are going to send this side. And that we can write WB minus QB. And now from equations 2, 3 and 4, okay, whatever this equations 2, 3 and this 4, what we can write. Okay, here from the equation 2, okay, that is QA minus WA is equal to delta EA. QA minus W is equal to delta EA. That we can write here. And for this process, QB minus WB is equal to delta EB. But here what we are having, WB minus QB. Okay, that is QB minus WB we are not having. WB minus QB we are having. Therefore, WB minus QB and this delta EB will become this side negative. Okay, that will here we can write delta EB. Here the QA minus WA can be written as delta EA from equation 2 and the WB minus QB from equation 3 we can write minus delta EB. This we will call as a equation 5. Then similarly if the system return from state 2 to state 1 by following a path C instead of path B. Okay, instead of this path B if the system is returning by the path C. Okay, the path A is remain same, delta A only. And this path C only that is changes and by this process what we have followed to find this side minus delta AB. Okay, the same it will be applicable for the path C also. Then we can write delta A is equal to minus delta EC. Okay, this we will call as a equation C. And these two equations what we have got here right hand side delta a is there and left hand side this delta a is there and here also delta a is there and right hand side whatever it is there minus delta a b and minus delta e c and this we can equate both these sides are same therefore this minus delta e b is equal to minus delta e c and both side negative are there those we can neglect and we can write from equation this 5 and 6 delta EB is equal to delta EC. Okay, here whatever this internal energy is there, okay, for the path B and the path C both are same. Here thus whatever this uh, internal energy is there, it is not depending on the path, whatever it is followed during the return process. It depends on the only end points that is called as a, it is a point functions. It is not a path function. The property which is depend on the path we will call as a path function and the property which is depend on the point function we will call as a it is a the, uh, the whatever the point functions the whatever the quantity which are depend on the path we will call as a those are the path functions the quantities which are depend only on the end states we will call as a point functions and those are the property of system all point functions are property of a system those are called as a macroscopic properties and here thus from this equation what we can write this energy does not depend on the path followed during the process it not depend on the path b or path c during the process hence it is a point function and a property of a system hence it is a property of a system thus we have Following this process, we have proved that one, this internal energy or a energy is a property of a system. Thanks for watching. If you like, share, subscribe. And